Hello and welcome to the Coppola TV main news and now for today's headlines. President Lungu to campaign in Chiluvi. Opposition UPND accuses PF of championing violence in Chiluvi. Malawians demand for fresh presidential polls as they warn against delays in holding a rerun. And in sports, soccer fans in Kitwe reject Kalu. Join us in a bit after this. To present the Coppola TV main news in detail, my name is Wabwila Musongole. President Edgar Lungu is in the Northern Province for a four-day working visit. Northern Province Minister Walia Chungu has further disclosed that the President is scheduled to commission a number of development projects in the region. Mr. Walia said President Lungu will also visit Chilubi District where he is expected to hold a series of public rallies to drum up support for Patriotic Front PF candidate in the Chilubi Parliamentary by-election Mulenga Fube. Mr. Walia, who is also PF Provincial Chairperson, said the Head of State will leave Chilubi on Tuesday, February 11, 2020. The provincial minister has since appealed to residents of Kasama and Chilubi to accord the president a thunderous welcome. So my appeal to the people of Northern Province is that, they, especially those that are in Kasama and Chilubi, is that let's turn up the numbers and we'll come <coughs> at Kasama Airport and indeed the Aziz lines in Chilubi. So the touching time is approximately about 10 hours. From that time, expect that the people of Kasama will be able to welcome you, but also that the people of Northern Province will help. We are grateful that His Excellency the President is here. Meanwhile, UPND President Hakaende Hichilema has arrived in Matipa area of Bulilo Ward in Chilubi constituency of Northern Province. Mr. Hichilema and his delegation were met by scores of supporters. And addressing his supporters, Mr. Hichilema advised them to conduct issue-based campaigns. He said it is evident that the people of Chilubi want change and development, not hate speeches. He has encouraged party supporters in Chilubi to remain strong and not allow dictators to determine the future of Zambia. The UPND leader is in Chilubi to drum up support for the UPND parliamentary candidate Stanislas Chele ahead of the crucial parliamentary by-election in the area slated for 13th February 2020. <laughs> And a thunderous welcome awaits NDC leader Chishimba Kambwili, who is expected in Chilubi today. Dr. Kambwili will be in the area to drum up support for Henry Kalenga, the party's candidate, in next week's poll. NDC Chilubi constituency campaign manager Fabian Mutale says Chilubi residents are eager to receive the NDC president. We are on our way to the harbour to go and welcome our president, Dr. Chiba Kamwili, who has come to drum up support for our candidate, Henry Kalenga. We are told a lot of people are gathered where he is expected to be given a thunderous welcome. Inspector General of Police, Mr. Kakoma Kanganja, has cautioned police officers policing the Chilubi by-election scheduled for 13th February 2020 against engaging themselves in active politics. Mr. Kanganja has since advised police officers to be professional as they discharge their duties. Mr. Kanganja said the role of police in any election was to ensure that law and order prevails during the whole electoral process, hence he did not expect any police officers to side with any political party as doing so is against police ethics. He directed them to deal with any situation decisively by bringing all those who would want to destabilize the peace currently prevailing in Chiluvi to book. 
He advised all political parties to conduct their political activities according to the drawn schedule so as to avoid clashing. The police IG said this when he addressed officers in the northern province. And to the people of Chirubi, I would like to urge them to be tolerant, reject violence of any kind, and avoid use of provocative language and hate speech, but instead engage in peaceful and constructive electoral process to ensure that a transparent, peaceful, and a credible election is held. And to those who choose to dare the police, I wish to sternly warn them that I have directed my officers on the ground to be very firm and we will deal with them accordingly. We won't uh, spare anyone. That's the message to all the political players. The police have been directed to be firm and I expect them to operate within their schedules. If they are told that the schedule ends at uh, 13 hours, it has to be 13 hours and they have to, to leave. We don't expect people to clash. The opposition UPND has accused the governing Patriotic Front PF party of promoting violence in the ongoing political campaigns in Chilubi district. Party National Chairperson Mutale Nalumango is wondering why police have failed to arrest PF cadres behind violent acts in Chilubi. That can go to the uh, island. So we are using bicycles. Even those bicycles have been taken over by PF in conjunction with the police. We have nine bicycles constantly. That is our means of transport. While they have cars, we are using bicycles. So we don't know what offense is in there. In case you have just tuned in, you're watching the Coppola TV main news. Now for our commercial break, join us in a bit after this. Samaria Limited is a versatile company dedicated to meeting every need any of our customers may have. With us, you're guaranteed to have a pleasant and easy shopping experience with the best returns for your money's worth. We guarantee the best customer service in addition to the finest quality beverages at affordable prices. We have all your hardware requirements from roofing sheets, wiring, piping, and much more. At Samaria Limited, we believe in good workmanship. Working well with one another is what gets our job done. Stationery is an essential. Whether it's a pencil for your personal drawings and designs, or a roll of paper for the company printer, we've got you covered. We stock various brands simply for your preference. We have an Airtel booth within our premises with airtime ready and available for all customers. We also offer Airtel Money services for easy money transactions and efficient clerks to attend to you, ensuring a fast and smooth procedure. If you're in need of any electronics, our store should be your go-to, with appliances ranging from household specifics to industrial commodities such as generators and inverters, if you need it, we have it. Our wholesale store stocks the best quality in food and other products, including cleaning necessities. And above all, our affordable prices ensure that you know how much we value you. You can find Samaria Limited along President Avenue North, opposite Zambia Railways in Dola, or call us on 0212-613-336 or 0212-619-992. Samaria Limited, your one-stop center for all you need. Looking for an opportunity to grow your business? Well, Coppola TV has good news for all small-scale businesses. You can now advertise on Coppola TV's Makwebo. Bonse wa na mayo na bashtata. Iseni mulangishe ama kwebo yenu pamutengo uwa chepa nga 100 kwacha. Yes, you heard right. For as low as 100 kwacha, your business will get its peak. Whatever the business, we will advertise. All you need to do is send a text of what your business offers, indicating the name, location and contact details to the number below. Payment for the advertising spot can be made through MTN Mobile Money on the number down below. Makwebo, 
Make your business known. Welcome back. Government has lifted the fish ban on Lake Tanganyika and Lake Kariba. Minister of Fisheries and Livestock, Professor Nkanduluo, said the fish ban still remains in effect on other water bodies until 1st of March 2020. She said this when she paid a courtesy call on Northern Province Minister Chungu Bwalia. I intend to lift the ban on fishing in two lakes only. That is Lake Tanganyika and Lake Kariba. For the rest of the water bodies, the ban continues until the 1st of March. I'm lifting the ban because at the time that we banned for Lake Tanganyika and Lake Kariba, we had banned only for one month, from the 1st of January to the 31st of January. And Northern Province Minister Chungo Bwalia asked the Fisheries Minister to extend the fish restocking to Northern Province. He said fish in most water bodies have depleted because most people in the area depend on fishing. And with that comes with fish. And uh, a number of water bodies, fish has been depleted. And so we are hoping and trust that at the end of the day we can have a restocking program that should be able to restock the fish in the variance of the water bodies within the, the, northern, the, the northern province. But coupled with that, one of the ministers do know that northern province is predominantly a farming area and most of the farmers are peas and farmers. And these peas and farmers have been looking forward to ensuring that they also venture into, into animal husbandry. The culture in, in, in northern province has not been too much on keeping animals. We have been uh, looking after goats, a bit of it, but most of it has been village chicken as it is common known. And so we will have a situation where the Ministry of Livestock and Fisheries is able to change that particular culture so that people can also engage in, in animal farming so much that they can be able to look at the animals as a, a source of wealth, as a source of money, as a source of livelihood, as a, opposed to a source of just getting relish. In case you have just tuned in, you're watching the Coppola TV main news. Join us after the break. Samaria Limited is a versatile company dedicated to meeting every need any of our customers may have. With us, you're guaranteed to have a pleasant and easy shopping experience with the best returns for your money's worth. We guarantee the best customer service in addition to the finest quality beverages at affordable prices. We have all your hardware requirements from roofing sheets, wiring, piping and much more. At Samaria Limited, we believe in good workmanship. Working well with one another is what gets our job done. Stationery is an essential. Whether it's a pencil for your personal drawings and designs or a roll of paper for the company printer, we've got you covered. We stock various brands simply for your preference. We have an Airtel booth within our premises with airtime ready and available for all customers. We also offer Airtel Money services for easy money transactions and efficient clerks to attend to you, ensuring a fast and smooth procedure. If you're in need of any electronics, our store should be your go-to, with appliances ranging from household specifics to industrial commodities such as generators and inverters, if you need it, we have it. Our wholesale store stocks the best quality in food and other products, including cleaning necessities. And above all, our affordable prices ensure that you know how much we value you. You can find Samaria Limited along President Avenue North, opposite Zambia Railways in Dola, or call us on 0212 613 
0212-619-3336 or 0212-619-992. Samaria Limited, your one-stop center for all you need. Looking for an opportunity to grow your business? Well, Coppola TV has good news for all small-scale businesses. You can now advertise on Coppola TV's Makwebo. Bonse wana mayo na bashtata. Iseni mulangishe ama kwebo yenu pamutengo uwa chepa nga 100 kwacha. Yes, you heard right. For as low as 100 kwacha, your business will get its peak. Whatever the business, we will advertise. All you need to do is send a text of what your business offers, indicating the name, location and contact details to the number below. Payment for the advertising spot can be made through MTN mobile money on the number down below. Makwebo, make your business known. Welcome back and now in foreign news. Chinese businesses in London are under duress as a third person has been diagnosed with the coronavirus in the United Kingdom. Restaurants and other shops in the country's Chinatown, which is normally full of life, are now empty. Al Jazeera has the details. The normally bustling streets of London's Chinatown, the early evening after work rush, more a hurried walk past half-empty restaurants. There's often a dip in trade following Chinese New Year, we're told, but not like this. Literally, there have been a lot of booking being cancelled. The words of China actually is uh, very effective because the virus literally is from China. So everyone was, uh, not, I can't say scared, they were worried if they're going to this place like Chinatown here, which can uh, met a lot of Chinese people. It's a, I mean, high risk to, to get the viruses. It also happens to be the midwinter flu season, notoriously contagious, sometimes deadly, but not generally known to affect business on the high street. It's estimated the common flu accounts for more than 50,000 deaths a year worldwide. Coronavirus, on the other hand, has so far resulted in the deaths of just over 500 people. Your friend was worried. Why was she worried? Um, Tell me what she said. She was worried that it, it would infect the food because the people were there. Your friend thought yeah. coronavirus would do? It, would, it might affect what we eat and um, a lot of people were wearing masks, you know, and um, she said maybe I should wear a mask, but you know, it's just, um, I said, it's, there's no problem. Because other people, and you hear it on the news and other people sort of get a bit scared about it. You know, it did put me off a bit, I've got to be honest, but um, <laughs> I thought, well, we're here now, aren't we? So we're going to enjoy ourselves. Quite a lot of people seem to think coronavirus is the new plague carried by anyone who even looks Chinese. There are reports of racism, a Chinese woman on a crowded London tube tweeting that no one would sit in the seats beside her. And not just in London, Chinese people banned from a nail bar in Vietnam and a cafe near the Trevi Fountain in Rome. The whole, 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 pro whole problem here is because of the uninformed uh, decision of, 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 the effect of the virus, because uh, the, you hear from news that, that uh, China's got a lot of problem with virus, so people thought that, that, that the Chinese people are uh, virus uh, uh, carriers. I think as I think to do with uh, uninformed or uneducated rather than, uh, uh, rather than racism, I mean initially at least for now. But it does, at least for now, mean quieter times in Chinatown. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, London. And finally, in international news, protest leaders in Malawi are threatening to continue demonstrating if the presidential elections are delayed. This follows President Peter Mutarika's decision to appeal the annulment of his election victory last year. We monitored Al Jazeera once again. Parliamentarians in Malawi don't have a lot of time to arrange another presidential election. First, they have to set a date, then enact legislation ordered by the Constitutional Court. But all that could be delayed by President Peter Mutarika's plan to appeal to the Supreme Court ruling to overturn his re-election last May. So as far as we are concerned, we will go by the directions that we have. Unless if the Supreme Court comes up with something different, or if indeed there's a stay order on the matter, then we'd have to uh, 
change direction depending on the new direction. On Monday, five judges nullified the result of May's election, saying it was marred by widespread irregularities. Muntarika says he's appealing the judgment because it's full of errors that needed to be corrected. The president is ready, his party is ready for uh, an election. Actually, the president would love a fresh election to prove a point that he had the legitimate uh, mandate from the people. But we have to respect the, demo the democratic processes. Mutarika won the election with a 38.5% share of the vote. Opposition leader Lazarus Chakwera came second with 35.4% and Salos Chalima had 20.24% in the final tally. The Constitutional Court advised Parliament to consider removing the current Electoral Commission to try and make sure the next election is more credible. In an attempt to avoid disputes, the winner will need to get more than 50% of the vote. The election result dispute has provoked months of demonstrations in several parts of the country. Some of the protests have been violent. At least one police officer and a civilian were killed. Protest leaders say there will be more mass action until the election is rerun. So the parliament is starting to meet on Monday. Immediately they start to meet, they will be seeing the fire from the citizens. We would want them to do the right things. If they think they are going to, to play games with us, we are going to tell them, get out of our parliament. We are going there as a people and make decisions for the betterment of our country. Opposition supporters celebrated when they heard a new election is to be held. But the president's plan to appeal the judgment has put a damper on their mood and risked inflaming tensions further. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Nilonga. In sports news, soccer fans in Kitwe have urged celebrated footballer Kalusha Walia to pull out of the Football Association of Zambia FAS presidency race. Joshua Mweto has the rest of the details. Celebrated soccer icon Kalusha Walia on Thursday successfully filled in his nomination to contest the Football Association of Zambia FAS presidency. Kalusha, Okinkalu as is fondly known, said the people of Zambia know who he is and where he is coming from. Kalu has pledged to bring football back to his glory days. I want uh, you know, Zambian football to move forward. I think the people asked for us to say we have been uh, uh, to start from where we left. Uh, if you look at uh, Zambia today, uh, football uh, is supposed to be a unifying factor. But today, you know, it is, uh, it is not that. Meanwhile, soccer fans on the Copper Belt have reacted differently to Kalu's comeback. The fans are disappointed that Zambian football has now turned political. We don't know about any politics. We are really Tamuli Bola. And because we are Konka, we are going to be minister, we are going to support. And he has the backing of the government. First of all, to begin with, we. We can base this argument on merit. If Kamanga has proven to, to have success as the president, he should continue. If maybe we can say Kalu had more success as a president and we don't have any other options, then we might as well give him a chance, especially if he's still within his rights. As long as there's a rule against it, he shouldn't be allowed, whether he's proved to be very good at the job or not light step which he has taken considering after Kamanga he took, he took office from him some years back. Kamanga has tried to do his best but for the senior national team uh, he, he, has, he, he has not done the way we wish as the Zambia soccer lovers that he can do to improve the senior national team's status. Kalu says those doubting his eligibility to contest the first president's can write to car for FIFA and inquire about his eligibility to contest the position. Yeah, I would ask you to write to FIFA or to CAF and ask them, is Kalusha eligible to start? The first elective AGM takes place next month. The game of football in the country has become extremely political. Currently, there seem to be an impasse between the current first leaders and the Ministry of Sports. Joshua Mwetwa, Coppola TV News, in Kitwe. To end the Coppola TV main news, we recap on today's headlines. President Lungu to campaign in Chilubi. Opposition UPND accuses PF of violence in Chilubi. Malawians demand for fresh presidential polls as they warn against delays in holding a rerun. 
And in sports, soccer fans in Kitwe reject Kalu. Thank you for watching the Coppola TV main news. My name is Abuela Musongole and pleasant viewing.